first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Hey, welcome back. Chief Meteorologist Aaron White joins us once again as we look ahead to another week here. Some warm, warm temps on the way again. Yeah, we still got 50s here in the forecast as we go through tomorrow and even into our Thursday, but eventually maybe some 60s wow. making a return. So something to look forward to here in our KIMT Plus 3 10 day forecast that we'll have at the end of the newscast. But talking about warmer weather, well, we're getting closer to the springtime season. That's only two weeks away here, kicking off on March 19th, where average highs are still around the lower 40s, but we have been well above that here the last several days. And as we continue through the month of March, we're also gaining more daylight. We actually add close to 90 minutes of total daylight between March 1st and March 31st. So we're going to be seeing a lot more sunshine as we get some of those sunnier days. And as we go ahead at this weekend, once we uh, set our clocks ahead one hour for daylight saving time, well, we're going to have those later sunsets as well. For now, though, we are seeing clear skies in downtown Rochester, 36 degrees, so a little chill, but pretty good for this time of year. And in Austin right now, 34 under a clear sky. Winds are light, and they will stay light through the night, but start to pick up a little bit here for tomorrow. In any case, though, even with a little breeze here on our Wednesday, still going to be a pretty decent day to get outside. Enjoy some of the sunshine and temperatures up into the 50s, even again on Thursday. But Fridays, that's the day where we're going to see a bit more overcast skies and even some rain showers here through the morning hours and may linger into the afternoon. And we will be tracking that here for the end of the week before we see more sunshine here by the weekend. But talk about those rain chances. They begin Thursday night and continue into Friday. Right now, we're keeping it about 30%. The bulk of the system that's going to bring us those showers is going to be passing to our south. But if it does trend a little bit further to the north, will increase those rain chances and could be talking about some rainfall amounts, maybe up to a quarter of an inch, especially here across parts of North Iowa, where we are still dealing with extreme drought conditions. So rain would be good and we'll be tracking that here for the end of the week. For tonight into tomorrow, looking at clear skies, a bit of sunshine here through the day and some uh, higher clouds making their way through here for the afternoon. But tonight, just a clear to partly cloudy sky and a low near 28 degrees for an overnight low. Tomorrow, we're back to the 50s. Enjoy it because we're going to see some cooler weather as we get towards the end of the week with that chance for rain. Your seven day forecast highlighting that chance of rain here on Friday with 44 for a high. We'll see that again on Saturday with more sunshine. And then we're back to the 50s on Sunday. And Cami, we are still tracking 60s here for not just Monday, but also Tuesday of next week.